Hello farmers, welcome back to No Man's Land, November. Ah, uh, it's a beautiful time of year. Leaves are still on the trees at least, and the weather is looking rather good. It did rain last night, which is always good. Uh, the crops do need moisture once in a while. Actually, I should be shutting my back doors as well. Set out the front door, because we are working right across the road here today. One of the Franks is down with a McCormick picking up stones in the bigger cornfield down by the vineyard. Like I said, we're going to be working right across the way here. And I'm not sure how this is going to go. I did spend uh, yesterday afternoon in the rain getting rid of the trees, magically, because uh, I want to work here. We're going to be putting in a horse stable. I did some looking around on the mod hubs. And I'll tell you, not much out there for horse stables. And even the ones that are out there, I'm looking at, I'm like, yeah, there's nothing, you know, nothing really caught my eye on it. Then there was one that was like, yeah, that's so-so. Then that horse stable is like 180000 to put down. I'm like, well, I, I don't want to spend that much for what we're doing. So I finally found one, and I didn't know I already had it downloaded, but we're going to put that down first. So let's go right into construction. Animals, horses. This is part of the ranch set from the uh, Elk Mountain modding. And last year, in, well, I say last year, in 19, I used uh, this one right here. So this was the horse barn from Elk Mountain modding in 19, and of course still in 22. Which is a nice little horse stable. You can see it holds eight horses. It's only 25000 put down. And it's rather good. But I'm like, ah, we already used that. So I did see when I saw this, I'm like, oh, wait, they got an open pasture. But it's rather on the big side for what I really want. And it holds 25 horses. I don't think we want 25 horses. But I think we're going to go ahead and try to put this one down. It's only 5000 so it's rather cheap. But like, it, like you can see, it takes up a lot of space here. Um, it's not too flat. And I'm not really sure how I want to put it. And it kind of disturbs a little bit of what I want to do here but let's go ahead and just put it down somewhere right uh, I'm trying to figure out where we are this is as far back as I can scroll out unfortunately so I can't really see the placement of what I'm trying to do here so um, yep I just place it right there how about that how about that um so oh wow I can't even hardly even see it through all the foliage so yeah they're gonna need some water I do see they can take uh oats sorghum and hay so that's kind of interesting uh activate placement marker all right i think i'll try to leave it on so that turns off the marker so i can see but the problem is it's gonna be kind of hard to see where we are wait a minute so it ends right here okay uh if i go into builder mode can i still see that hopefully let's go back into oh good i can still see it perfect uh, let's go landscaping first, and we're just going to go ahead and paint. I want to paint, 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 and we're going to go to dirt. Yeah, I have no idea how this is going to work out. Um, we're just winging it as I go along here. Uh, let's see, what's the width, width of the road? Looks like that's about the width of the road. All right. So basically, I think I want to come in like so. That's interesting how that just opened on up. I guess what I could do is to see the opening a little bit better. Oh, let's go do this. Uh, am I still in that circle there? Just so I can see the outline of the pasture, we're going to get rid of all the grass that's here. I'll put it back in afterwards. If you're not sure what I'm doing just yet, it'll all make sense here in a little while. I am going to be kind of curious though. Can I plow and make a field where the horse pasture is? But I don't want the horses walking into... There. I, don't, I don't need to do the whole field. I just need to do the outline of the horse pasture. That's what we'll do. Uh, that's kind of good right there. Now I can kind of see. All right, that works out all rather well. Um, I wonder if I can put down... I don't know if I want to put down a shed, but I don't want the horses just to be out in the open. I kind of want to give them like a little stable, even though they don't have one. So let me go into construction, and I think it'll be... Uh, sheds I guess would be something I would put down uh, something kind of small and cheap for the horses to kind of like huddle into if the weather gets kind of bad uh, what do we got here that would work I mean I guess that could work for the horses I have to keep in mind it's only five grand so that's not too bad 
Uh, okay, so that's so the choices that we got here. This is 20 grand. Oh, that's that's kind of way too big for the horses. Like I said, we're only going to have a couple. Uh, yeah, so that's probably going to be our best bet. I mean, I could put down one of Alien Jim's sheds. But I think we're going to go ahead and put down... Where was that shed? Here, right here. And let's see. We're going to go ahead and just put it down... I don't know, like right there. Sure. Yeah, so if the horses just want to get a little bit of cover. They can come in here and get out of the sun. I mean, I'll put down some trees and whatnots afterwards. But now is the main course. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put, be putting in a field around the horse field. And this is going to be basically their feed. So I can either plant oats or sorghum. Uh, if I go into here, is it going to show me... I can't see exactly what the effectiveness is until I put a horse in here. I mean, I could put just a horse in here and I could go ahead and buy oats or sorghum uh, down at the main shop and feed them for a while. Uh, I don't have no oats or sorghum at all. I mean, which is obvious. Uh, so we'll think about that afterwards. Anyways, let's go ahead and grab the Deutz fire. We already got the plow all set. Yeah, I kind of, I probably should have set that back a little bit further. But you know what? This is going to be just fine, I think. Let's go ahead and fold this out. Uh, activate, create fields. So I'll hit that button there. And let's see. I don't know how close I actually want to get. Because so I do want to put a fence around here also. Uh, let's see here. I don't want to put it too close because if I end up doing like horse play or something like that with workers, I don't want it to get too messy around here. Let's go ahead and just throw that down. I said throw it down. There we go. I was going to say, am I going to get any stones? I'm like, I'm not getting no stones. There's the stones. Let's see if I can get myself a good outline of a field here. Let's pick that up. I mean, it's not going to be straight, straight. But we get the idea. So, I mean, I was thinking about it. It's like, you know what? I want to create a field anyway, anyways, for the horses. And I was like, uh, and then someone did mention, how about putting the horses across from the house? I'm like, you know, that's not that bad of an idea. I did originally thought about putting them down over by the cow barn. I was like, you know what? How about we just have the horses over here and we have their own field around them. And then, of course, we'll fence the horses in. Of course, at the time, I wasn't sure what horse, horse pasture I was going with. I'm kind of glad I can decorate on top of the field. I forgot when that was, used to be a kind of a, I want to say a problem in Farming Simulator. But once you put a placeable down, you couldn't place anything around it as well. Until you had, until someone came up with a placeable mod. I think it was back in 15, maybe 17. Someone finally came up with a mod to where uh, you could put a placeable on top of another placeable. And there is the road that goes around. On up to the biomass seeding plant. We got a few more trees we got to take care of. Now this will mean I will have to do a little bit more soil sampling and all that, but we're okay. By the way, also overnight, the BGA made a good amount of cash. I guess from the slurry that we brought down, it slowly processes that. So I think we made somewhere around $50,000 overnight. Yeah, I'm not going to argue about it, I guess. Uh, <laughs> I mean, there was still slurry in there before I went to bed. It was still like 2,000 liters, so I'm not... Even that 2,000 liters, though, that seems like a lot of money for 2,000 liters of slurry. And, of course, now here is our road that cuts across over to the animal farm. And there is our wheat field right there. 
Now the field that we're creating here is going to be plenty big enough for feed for the animals, uh, for the horses. But any extra we get, we can go ahead and bring on down to milling it over to make flour. turn here. I gotta be a little bit careful of the hill here because our 60 foot wide header like this little hill here could be a problem. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be a problem for the 60 foot header for sure. But, maybe next year by this time I'll have a second header for the 9T. And the 9T will have to harvest this field with a 45 footer. But the, the thing with the 45 footer, that's a flex header. So that can flex a little bit. Okay, let's go like this. Yeah, so do I get a horse just to go ahead and put in there so you can kind of see what's going on? I think that is something to have a good look at. Oops, got to get that little piece of grass or that'll stay there forever. Now that's actually a decent sized field right there. That'll do us wonders, I think. Uh, just to confirm, can I, I can make flour with sorghum, right? Uh, sorghum flour. Yes, I can. So it's 150 and you get 158 flour. Uh, with oats, it's 150 to 188 flour. So oats create more flour than sorghum. And at least with the when I harvest oats, I'll get a straw swath to get straw and I can sell it or save it. So probably wise if I'm going to feed the horses to give them oats. Seems fitting. Uh, yes, yeah, also the store today, nothing of high interest in the sales department. So we'll skip right on past that. And I did stop up by the vineyard. The vineyard is ready. The vines look like they're ready to be pruned. So we can get to that at any time. Still needs to be plowed. It doesn't say anything about mulching. But then again, the grass around the vineyard is all pretty much... Uh, it's not like the grass here. It's pretty much like... It looks like it's been cut already. But next season, I'll make sure to go ahead and mulch. I'll probably mulch and plow at the same time. Now I don't know if it makes a difference. Do I have to mulch it anytime, every time it's ready? Or should I just wait until the grapes are ready to be harvested and then mulch and plow first? And then it's good to go. I'm not too sure. Yeah, so next year I may have, when it's come time to harvesting, I could have the class Lexian harvesting something else and we'll be in the 9T taking care of this field here. This field here being just a little bit odd. Well, it's not an odd shape. Well, maybe it is a little bit. But it could have some problem with the workers going around the horse pasture. Oh, no, I should check on the cereal. I did the... Uh, I think we already, when I went to bed last night, I had about already five crates of cereal sitting outside. So that was working rather good. And I did bring back the crone trailer that was locked on to the baling trailer. The crone trailer is now parked at the main farm. And the baling trailer is now parked over at the animal farm. And you got to keep those two separated. Those two don't get together. Well, they get together too well, I should say. But uh, yeah, they should not be together at all. So I was getting ready to lime what used to be our sugarcane field. I'm glad I didn't because now I need lime for this field. Am 
But all I can see that the horses are going to need are oats and sorghum. I don't need if they. I don't know if they need one or the other, or do they need both? Not too sure. First time doing horses in 22. And like I've said before, we're not having horses here to make money on them. They're just here for being part of the map, basically. So we'll get ourselves... I think we will get ourselves a horse today just to, just to see exactly what we need and how it goes. Because if I need oats and sorghum for the horse, it'd be nice to know that now. So when planting season comes next spring, I can be prepared to plant whatever we need. I mean, I still could plant both and uh, be prepared for it, but... And then what we'll do is we'll grab our trailer, go on down, get some feed for the horse. I mean, technically, I probably could just give the horse hay, which we got a decent amount of. And not buy any oats or sorghum, but we'll, we'll go ahead and see uh, what they uh, actually prefer here. It's kind of weird as I'm plowing this how I got some areas where there's like... Just no stone whatsoever coming on up. But in other areas, it's more stony. I don't know if it has something to do with the soil type that's underneath. I have no idea if that's part of it or how it's done. Not a clue. As I finish up plowing this field, I'm having flashbacks to 19 No Man's Land. And I do believe right here I had a field as well. And I think I basically had it as a canola field when I first started. Because the original cabin placement is just on the other side of these trees, if I'm not mistaken. And speaking of trees, I got a tree here that needs to go bye-bye. So we're going to wave our magic wand here in just a second and it'll disappear. Actually, I don't think I even have it turned on. Yeah, let's turn on delete objects here. They're just small trees. There's another one over here. Let's go chop this one down. I never thought I'd be doing that when I started the series about just magically deleting trees. I figured I need the trees to make furniture. We're going to go through a lot of trees. and um, Nope. Nope not going through the trees at all. But I'm kind of hoping sometime we will we will be a little bit this winter. Uh, maybe not the extreme I was hoping for uh, for how much tree harvesters are. We will be putting down another sawmill maybe even today. I'm not sure. I feel like spending some of this cash. But the other sawmill will is this going to be for making planks and selling that outright? So that's going to, you know, give us money as well. So we're going to have to lease a tree harvester for a day and see how it goes. Although I do know someone did tell me that tree harvesters can't cut down all the trees. Um... And something about there are some trees that are too big for the tree harvesters, which I don't remember being an issue. I don't know if that's something new to 22 or I just never ran, ran into that problem before. So if a tree harvester can't take care of the big trees, then I don't want to say what's the point. Because then you have to use your chainsaw anyways. But we'll see how it goes. I don't know, it could be in the month of December that we do this. But right now I'm just kind of focused on getting ready to have a horse. We're going to have a, get a horse today and see exactly what they need for feed. It could be like cows, like if I give the horse just hay, it's going to be like an 80% or 60% or whatever. And if I give, a, give it oats or I may have to give it all types of food. Alright, so there is our field. Make sure I turn off create fields on the subsoiler so we're all set. Let's fold that up. Alright, so now here comes an expensive part. The fence. I do want to put a fence around around this. Let's go ahead and actually back this up to here. 
Now, the horse, I will have to have transported here. The trailer that we got does not include transporting horses. So we have to keep that in mind. All right, so I guess the first thing I need to put down is a gate. Uh, so let's come in here. And construction, decoration, fencing. Uh, what type of fencing do I want for horses? Uh, I mean, we can go for the standard. But I am going to need kind of like a gate. I think a white. Ooh, that's kind of small, isn't it? Oh, I see. It's just a post. All right. Uh, all right. So can I go from here to uh, there to there? Do these gates actually open? Uh, I'm actually going to write down the money total I got in case something screws up. And then uh, <laughs> then I could add it back in. I'm just going to write down 278000 uh, because Frank is working, so he's constantly taking some money on me. So, I don't know if this is decoration or if this, if this is actually functional. So, if I come here, can I... Aha! So, they do actually work. Okay, perfect. Uh, do I want them opening that way or the other way? Or is it the way you're facing that they open? You know what? I just realized because... Yeah, when I was putting down the fence, it was showing me... Which way they opened it, I didn't really pay that much attention to. Uh, that's fine. Uh, it's probably better off to go that way than the other way. Alright, let's go ahead and close that because we don't want our horses getting out. Uh, <laughs> so let's go ahead. Back into construction, decoration, fencing. What is this? Uh, that's a gate. So wait, we got a gate. We got a gate. What's the difference between the two, two gates? Maybe small and large? Uh, okay, so we're going to go here. And no, let's go this way here. I want this to go kind of straight as possible. And I'm going to go a little bit past where it says it should be. So that's only 2000 but this is where it's going to get expensive, right? All right, that's not too bad. That's only 8000 for that. All right, this is not that bad. Somewhere like right about there. And then we'll hook it right back up to... Okay, it's going to kind of cut right... Oop, nope, nope. No! Why did you... Yeah, right at the last second. Uh... Is that it? Sure. Thank you. I mean, it's not as straight as it was going to be before, but that's fine. I think I can live with that and I can take care of it later on. Alright, so how do we look so far? I mean, that's not too bad. Now we can come in here and where is that sign? We'll get rid of the, uh, the blue marker. There we go. Blue marker is gone. Um, bring up the helper HUD. And where's the trigger? Oh, here's the trigger right here. Let's go ahead and get ourselves just a horse. Uh, sure, we'll just get one of these. And they're only 500. 300 transportation fee. That's fine. I'm not going to get myself a horse trailer. Because like I said, we're not really here to... Uh, do anything with the horses other than other than this basically now we should be able to go in here scroll all the way down and let's see uh, base food and hay so I guess base food is going to be the oats or sorghum and the hay and total effectiveness so I guess I could save myself cash and not feed them anything um, but I may go ahead down and get ourselves some I don't know what's cheaper, oats or sorghum. I'm going to say oats are cheaper. So if I go to oats, uh, 1330. Actually, sorghum is cheaper than oats. Uh, you might be getting yourself some sorghum. I can put the, I'll just get a whole trailer. That's like, what, 12,000 liter trailer? 
fill that up and the horse gets what it gets uh we'll need some water yeah 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 well, we'll get you some trees later on as well and of course uh they don't need straw so i wonder it doesn't really matter but the other one used to take straw from elk mountain modding and the horses used to give manure I wonder if this horse gives manure. I would have to put a, a manure pit over here for the horse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We hear you. We hear you. Uh, there was something else I wanted to do. I wanted to run another fence out to here. But I don't know how that'll look. I do want to go back into construction though and decorations. And go to other. I think... There was a couple signs I could put up with archways. Oh yeah, like this. That may work. Uh, let's see here. That would go... But then the fence doesn't quite match on up now, does it? Let's see if I were to put it... Hmm. I could delete the fence and put a fence in to match this and just kind of like... Uh, Kind of like so. And then put that type of fence around. Hmm. I think I'm liking this better. That opens that way. Close it back up. And plus, I'll get rid of this wonkiness that I got here as well. Uh, yeah, I'm going to delete. I did, do like the white fence, but I do like having this archway uh, entryway to the horse pasture. I think I think the horse likes it too. Uh, yeah, let me go ahead and delete this one, and I'll put in a matching one for this around the horses. I think that's what we need to do. Well, that seems a little bit more fitting for the fence and the entryway to the horse pasture. Now, I will mention this if you haven't done it before. And that's the first time I've deleted fencing. Uh, you don't get your money back when you delete fencing at all. So, <laughs> um, but I think I went back right back to the right price. If not, uh, when I edit the video, I'll have to double check. But I think we were at $227 uh, and change before I started deleting the white fence. And the fence I put down is cheaper than the white fence, so in a way I kind of lost money in the long run anyways, but eh, whatever. It all works out. I got the grass painted in as well from where I cleared up before, so it's all looking rather well. If you look down at the ground level, uh, this is what you look at when we come on down to. And open it up, and I think the ground's clearing. I think the gates are clearing the ground well enough. Might be a little bit of a bump when we come on down here. But the horse needs water, the horse needs food, and probably a friend. Uh, I mean, if we're going to have one horse, might as well have two. Let's go ahead and see if I can find that trigger again right here. Uh, let's get a, uh, a gray horse, because why not? Yeah, we can't have, uh, can't have you know, a horse all by itself. What do I say? Is it by itself? <laughs> no, it's over here. It's over here. How you doing? All right, you're doing pretty darn good. Um, yeah, if I haven't, if, and I'm pretty sure I mentioned it before, but yeah, if you ever want to get the horses, but you don't like riding them to train them, there are, I think there's two mods on the Giants Mod Hub. I know one's called Horse Helper, and the other one might be called Horse Hand, and I think they're kind of like the same mod. Basically, what they do is they'll train uh, your horses for you. Um, how much are the horses actually value? I spent 500 on the horse. Probably not worth that much, like 120 right now. Yep. All right, fitness, daily riding, puberty, health. Yeah, all that good, good stuff. Cleanliness. And right now, you guys got nothing. But we'll take care of that a little bit later. I got some more work to do before I come on down. You guys just got here. And the one thing I wish I just remembered, I have mentioned a couple times, what I'd like to see from 19 to 22. In seasons in 19, if horses like, horses like hay and grass... It would take the hay and grass from the field and put it in their feed trough when they needed it. Same thing for sheep and cows. 
Um, but whatever. Uh, we'll, we'll feed them at some point today. But we know what we got. We got our field in for them. So next season, this will probably be oats. Uh, is what I'm, I'm guessing what we're going to put in here. But as you can see, we got some stones to pick up. Some really big stones. I'm going to have to spread some lime in this field. It's going to need a lot of love. And plus, I got to do some soil sampling as well. And of course, got to give them some food and water. But I'll take care of that a little bit later. Uh, is Frank still... I haven't got the message that Frank was done down here. Uh, but apparently, they you know, he is. Uh, so I'm going to bring this back, get some stones crushed, because I'm going to need this lime, I'm sure. But that's going to do it for today, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching, as always. I'll catch you again right here, again, in no man's land. But until then, have a good one.